Elon Musk reveals that because of various different types of mistakes that have been made, a lot of states in the USA might get destroyed by a phenomenon called El Nino. Elon Musk accused politicians of intentionally deceiving people with intentions of making money. But there's more. The USA faces a series of upcoming natural catastrophes, and the results of these disasters might be so serious that it can completely destroy everything. These are some mind-boggling developments, so let's explain everything. So, Elon Musk stated about climate change. We could see you know anywhere from 5 to 10 percent, maybe more of the landmass absorbed by water. About a third of humanity lives right on the coastline, so we'll be talking about maybe 2 billion people being displaced and their home being destroyed and their countries being gone. As Musk explained, climate change is not a question of if, but it is a question of when. Gradually, things are getting worse, and the results of climate change are various threats that we are facing as humanity. One such danger is related to North America and Australia because of the phenomenon called La Nina. There have been recent developments regarding dangerous wind conditions that can be catastrophic for North America. La Nina, which is a meteorological trend, may soon lead to the development of horrifying tropical storms in various places throughout the world. It's important to point out that Australia, the Western United States, and a number of other huge regions on several continents are the areas where climate change will have the greatest negative effects. Because of this situation, a few famous experts of this field came out and warned that La Nina's climate effects will be much more severe than the floods that wreaked havoc on Australia's east coast earlier this year. A plethora of scientific evidence showcases that climate change leads to more increasingly extreme weather conditions. Some forecasts allude to the probability that La Niña's will experience drier conditions as climate change persists. As Elon Musk says, we need to do something about this quickly or the situation is very difficult. I keep telling people this. I hate to be Cassandra here, but it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. According to the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, La Niña conditions, which entail a large-scale lowering of ocean surface temperatures, have developed across the eastern and central equatorial Pacific in recent weeks due to an increase in trade winds. And the effects of these recent developments can be catastrophic for Australia and the United States. The Pacific Ocean started to experience La Nina weather patterns. Strong winds blow warm water near the ocean's surface from South America to Indonesia in this pattern. As warm water travels west, cold water from the deep comes to the surface near South America's coast. La Nina, like El Nino, is a meteorological trend that occurs every few years in the Pacific Ocean. Winds around the equator normally drive warm water westward. Warm water at the ocean surface blows from South America to Indonesia. These winds are substantially stronger and dangerous than typical during the winter of a La Nina year. As a result, the water in the Pacific Ocean near the equator is a few degrees cooler than typical, and risk is that even the smallest changes in ocean temperatures have a global impact on climate change and on its results. Rain clouds occur naturally over warm ocean water. All of this warm water is blown to the Western Pacific by La Nina. This signifies that regions like Indonesia and Australia may receive giant amount of collected rain from these clouds than usual. The cool water in the Eastern Pacific, on the other hand, causes fewer rain clouds to develop there. As a result, areas such as the Southern United States will be completely dry for some time. Caused by La Nina, cold water in the Pacific is currently pushing floods in Australia and drought in Africa and the United States, and these conditions are expected to increase gradually. According to NOAA senior scientist Mike McFadden, the world's foremost specialist on La Nina, NSO, El Nino Southern Oscillation, is the 800-pound gorilla in the climate system. When you disrupt it, it will react, and the climate effects will be felt all across the world, as we are witnessing now. As Mike warns, those climatic repercussions can be far worse for USA than the floods that devastated Australia's east coast earlier this year. Rains resumed in Australia immediately after the black summer in early 2020, but failed in East Africa, affecting some of the world's poorest countries. This year will be the Horn of Africa's fifth unsuccessful wet season. The area has two wet seasons every year. The cause is the chilly waters off Africa and warm seas off Australia, causing rain to fall over Australia and USA rather than Africa. This trend is known as the Indian Ocean Depole, and it is linked to and impacted by La Nina in the Pacific Ocean. East Africa has seen the opposite of Australia's rapid shift from drought to floods in recent years. We're experiencing the same type of whipsaw climatic volatility, according to Chris Funk, director of the Climate Hazard Center at the University of California. It was the black summer of 2019 with all the terrible fires. 
East Africa was getting massive floods and rains from the other side of the Indian Ocean Dipole in October, November, and December of that year. This resulted in a locust outbreak. While Australians prepare for another rainy summer, farmers in the Horn of Africa confront another failing harvest and an almost certain famine. Caritas Australia CEO Kirsty Robertson said she had never seen anything like the circumstances she witnessed on her recent trip to Ethiopia. Prior to the drought, many towns had reliable access to water. However, these populations are now going further and further to get water. Women in one village are even walking overnight. The impact on your everyday life is astounding, she added, since if you used to spend an hour or two obtaining water and now spend a day or two getting water, it entirely alters your life and livelihood. According to Dr. Funk, the ideal ocean for drought brings little good news to people in the Horn of Africa who are already on the verge of disaster. We know there won't be any rain in that region until at least the end of the year, so the poor women traveling for water are going to be in a lot of trouble. And then, if there is another bad season, it will be terrible. And unfortunately, terribly, you will begin to see photographs of people dying. Famines in the area, according to Dr. Funk, have been far less prevalent since the Ethiopian food crisis in the 1980s, which sparked the Live Aid campaign. That's quite an accomplishment. However, unless governments step up, the severity of these recurring shocks is going to surpass humanitarian relief capacities, he added. If East Africa's climate has recently resembled Australia's, the Western United States has done the same. For a brief while in 2019, the greatest drought in American history appeared to be ending. Then came La Nina. Dry weather resumed in 2020 and intensified until 2021. The mega drought has since been identified as the worst in at least 1,200 years. The long-term outlook predicts dry months ahead, Dr. McFadden explained that there are two things going on here. The first is the steady rise in temperatures caused by climate change. The other is two years of La Nina. That's why the Western United States has been in such a bad position in recent years, he says. Tim Brown of the Desert Research Institute has been watching the environment actually shift around him in Reno, Nevada. He says that they've witnessed multi-decade scale droughts previously using tree ring data, and there have been a lot of these going back to around the year 800. The present drought, which has already lasted nearly 20 years when measured across time, has eclipsed the magnitude of any preceding mega drought, he claims. With Australia, East Africa, and the Western United States all in the grip of a La Nina-induced climatic disaster, the million-dollar question is, when will it end? With the possibility of the third year of La Nina, many are anxious that there would be no respite in sight, at least in the short term, according to Dr. McFadden. With so much cold water collecting in the eastern tropical Pacific Ocean for so long, experts like Dr. McFadden are questioning if the rains in Australia and droughts in the United States and Africa will last much longer than in 2022. Unlike the atmosphere, the ocean changes slowly. It has a significantly higher density. So we know the current ocean conditions will last at least a couple more seasons since the ocean is sluggish to change, he explained. Climate scientists have documented periods in which cold, tropical Pacific Ocean temperatures continued year after year, causing extensive rainfall in Australia and some of the country's worst floods. Of course, there is another major topic that is closely connected. What role does climate change play? Climate change, according to Agus Santoso of the University of New South Wales, would amplify the swing from one extreme to the other. He suggested that rather than focusing on particular incidents, consider the influence of climate change across decades. Despite this, clear evidence linking recent rainfall extremes to climate change is already emerging, according to Dr. Santoso. The mega drought in the western United States has been characterized by record heat, which has been exacerbated by climate change. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.